Today, we are going to learn how to add options for a product in a Shopify store using the Advanced Product Options app. Right now, we are looking at a single product without any choices added. We'll add options for this product. It's a coffee table. In this spreadsheet, there are four options for the product. Table size with three values. Leg height with three values. Timber options. Stone options. As you know, by default Shopify only allows up to three options per product. To add four options to this product, we'll use the APO product options app. First, let's go to the back end of the store and click on apps then select APO product options. Next, click on option sets. This option set should include all the options we want to add to the product. Click on create option set. Give the option set a title, which can be the same as the product name for easy identification in the future. Now, click on add new option. You have several display types to choose from, such as checkboxes, radio buttons, drop-down menus, swatches, multi-select, and text boxes. Based on what we need, we'll choose an option type. I'm going to choose radio button for the first option. Add option title. Select this checkbox if you want to make this option mandatory. Next, you'll add each option value individually. Since you have three values, you'll add them one by one. Here, you can set prices, inventory, images, and other details for each option value. Now, I'll establish a pricing rule. Once you choose Enable Advanced Pricing, you can set the pricing rule either as fixed or by a percentage. Like $5 adding to base price when selecting medium option. If you choose the percentage option, that percentage will be added to the base price of the product when selecting this option. Next, we will be adding pricing for large option. Now we can add second option. Let's choose drop down display type. Add option title. Enter option values one by one. I am going to enter three values. Please note that delete option is available here. Now, let's add the third option. I'll choose the swatch type for this one. Add all option values. Next, select images and colors. Then, click add images. From there, you can upload a swatch image for the option values.
You can tick those checkboxes if you want to replace the main image with the swatch when the customer selects this option and also enlarge the swatch image when hovered over. Now add remaining options one by one. Please note that here, you can also choose add color instead of add images and select a color if you don't have an image to upload. The color swatch will appear on the front end. Let me add the third and fourth option values under timber options. Now, let's add the fourth option named Stone Options. For this one as well, I'm choosing the swatch type. I believe it's better for customers to understand the Stone Options by seeing their images. You can choose whichever types you prefer. Add the option values one by one, and then add swatches for all of them. I've added all the options. Now, I'm going to set the price, adding 1% for the last two stone options. Now, Let's verify the options we added before we save them. Now click on the save button. Now the option set is saved. You can see all the added options here. Please note that you can add as many options as you need in an option set. We can also rearrange order of options. Next click on add new rules. Here we can define rules for each option if you need. You can select one option and then set a rule such as cost increase, price decrease, weight adjustment, or hide that specific option, etc. As you can see, there is a variety of rule conditions available in the drop-down menu.
As an example, let's examine the base price of this product, which is $4,635. I'm going to set a condition. If the customer selects medium from the table top size and white old ash or black old ash from the timber option, then the price must show as $5,000. Now, under the product section, select the product where you want to apply this option set. You can do this either automatically by setting conditions like selecting the product type equals coffee table or the vendor equals Berlin Garden. Alternatively, we can manually add the product you want to have this option set. In this example, I'm searching for the product using its title. Please remember that to display options on the product page, you need to ensure that the Advanced Product Options app is enabled in your store theme. Now all four options have been added to the product, as you can see. You'll notice that the prices change accordingly when we click on the options, following the pricing rules we've established in the option set.